so hello everyone in the previous video we created our first uh, next.js application and we added our own custom heading tag so in that uh, we just wrote hello next.js so i'm going to tell you in this video that how you can create multiple pages in next.js so in Next.js, is it is easier to route between the pages than React.js because in React.js we have a custom package for that. Uh, we need to install the packages such as React Router and React Router DOM. Then we uh, declare some routes for different pages and we assign the pages. So that is the way in React.js. But in the Next.js, it is a bit simpler and we can directly create multiple pages in the pages folder whatever the new page you will create you will be creating in the uh, pages folder that will automatically be route so let me show you uh, first let me show you this index.js this will be the main home page of your application for example this is the home page and if i go to any other routes for example login then you can see uh, there is a custom 404 page also which is which is given to us by the next years so you can also modify that but we will not be modifying that that is fine i think so let's create some more pages for example i want to create login page so i'll be creating login.js and inside that I can specify RFC and it is optional react I can import or not so I can just leave it or like without react also I can write some pages for example I have brought this head make it let me make it into head. and this is the page so now if I go to the login route it will automatically be showing this page to me so if I go to login, make sure you name whatever the name you will give to the page that will come into the route. For example, I have given the capital L, so I will be uh, writing the capital L here, not the small L. If I want the small L, then I have to name the page same as it is. So let me just write it into capital L. Yeah. So now you can see that uh, we, am, uh, we are routing to the login page which is this one. So I can also change the name of the page uh, but uh, let it be there. You understand my point. So this is how we can cre go, uh, create multiple pages in Next.js. And for routing we have one more component which is a link. I need to tell you something about that also. So this this is the main home page so if i want to go to that page which is login so how will i go to that so normally we go with the a tag or anchor tag but uh, for that uh, the wheel will be rotating so we don't want that we just want to go to that page without rotating the wheel uh, actually i'm talking about this wheel this refresh page refresh icon so that we'll be doing so let me just add a link component which is a custom or you can say a built-in component which is given to us by the next years so let me just import it it is similar to similar to react uh, link component react router link component but it has some difference so let me just pop, import it from next slash link so this is the location from where you have to import it and inside that you can specify anything uh, let me just write a tag so you can also write heading or anything just let me write something first so I can go to the login page and inside the link uh, in the react router we just type 2 but in this we just type href attribute which we normally type in anchor tag so just I can add the login uh, route in here. So if I click on this login link, then I will route to that page. So if I click on this login, 
then you can see that uh, we are logged into that page or we are routed to that page so this is how we will be uh, going from one page to another also if i create something into a folder for example uh, i'm creating courses so this folder will also be counted in a route so let me just create one more element or uh, page in that let me just create web development so i'll be creating web development page dot js so just let me write rfc again and i'll be changing this to web only or i can write the full name it doesn't matter okay so let me just save it and also let me just make it heading one so it is larger so let me just save it and show you how this will come into the route whenever you add something into the folder so if i go to that page which is inside of a folder which is courses and inside that we have uh, we have our web development right so web development i'll be writing so you don't have to write dot js because it is a route so that will be routing us to that page which i created into the courses folder so you can see that this courses folder is also included in this uh, uh, route in into this into the route but the courses folder will also be counted in a route and this name whatever is the name you will be giving to the page or the javascript page that will be the route for for the next year in this uh, this is a file routing system we call it generally a file routing system so that will be used in this so there are also other uh, thing we can do in uh, next year's routing such as dynamic routes and other things we'll be talking it about uh, in the, later in the video so let's just uh, stay here and uh, we can create multiple pages that is the idea you have to grab from this uh, video that we can create multiple pages and we can link the pages by this link component or this link so i can also write this as heading uh, or a normal a tag that doesn't matter so if that will come as a heading so that will go to the login page still but that is your choice if you want to add some classes and all then you can't add in here this link uh, you cannot add to this instead you have to write the classes and other styling into this uh, uh, which which you will write inside the link component so this is how you can link to multiple pages and create multiple pages uh, we'll discuss some of the more features of next in the next video so let's meet in the another video thank you for watching